Hello and welcome to the CATIA rotation animation lesson. In this lesson you'll learn how to change assembly constraints to joints and create a simulation. To begin, I opened up this one cylinder engine cutaway and it can be opened in any workbench but to start we're going to move into digital mockup kinematics. This brings us into the kinematics toolbar. Up at the top are the different types of kinematic joints, such as rotational, sliding, concentric, and fixed joints. Along the side are joint conversions, simulations, and update. I've already constrained this using the assemblies toolbar to the point where it can rotate and be manipulated, as you can see by entering assembly design. Using the manipulation toolbar with respect to constraints, I can grab this and it rotates just like an engine. The point of this will be to make the computer do that for us. So getting back into kinematics, my first step is going to be this. This is going to be the automatic conversion of constraints into joints. We need to create a new mechanism, name it mechanism1, and auto create. We are now at 0 of 7 unresolved pairs, which is good. We can now click OK. Under the applications bar on the tree, mechanisms has been added. And you can see our mechanism has a degree of freedom of 1, which is good. That's this degree of freedom can either be considered the rotation of the crank in the crank case, or it can be the vertical movement of the piston. In this case, we'll just do the crank case. Now we're going to open up joints in the design tree. This shows all the converted constraints from our assembly into a joint, which is how rotation are simulated. We're going to use this revolution joint of the crankshaft in the crankcase. Double click on it, it brings up our joint. We want this to be angle driven, which means it's our driving force in this whole simulation. We're going to start at zero degrees, and I'd like to rotate it three times, so our finishing will be 1080 degrees. Click OK and now the mechanism can be simulated. Click OK. The next step to this animation is going over here and clicking the simulation button. We can pick our mechanism to simulate and click OK. Now as you can see, using the sliding bar we can rotate our whole mechanism exactly what we want. In this case we're going to insert revolutions in steps of one second. So we're going to do 360 degrees in one second. So go up here to the top, type in 360 degrees, and then go to insert. This has now rotated the crank 360 degrees and added one second to the timeline. Next, it'll be 720. Insert again, we're now at two seconds. And finally, 1080 for three seconds. Pressing the back to start button of the VCR controls and pressing play, it doesn't seem like anything's happened. That's because it's moved too fast. So we're going to go to the second drop down menu, move it to a smaller time step. Now go back to the beginning, press play again. We can see our simulation working perfectly. Now click OK. Now that we have a simulation, we can make it into a video. To do this, exit out of the DMU workbench and go into Photo Studio. We're going to set this up in a viewpoint that we like, right about there, zoom in. Now we're going to create a shooting. Click the Create a Shooting button, Shooting 1, and select from the Animation tab, the drop down of simulation one. Like this to last three seconds at 20 frames per second. Going back into the frame tab, we can select how large you'd like it to be. 
and where we'd like it to be saved. Under animation, we'd like it to be an AVI. Finally, we're going to go to effects and enable cartoon effects. This will allow us to see the edges a little better. Click OK. Now we have our shooting of our simulation. Now by clicking the render button, we can animate. Our video has now been completed. We can click OK, minimize this, and find it on the desktop. And that's our video. That concludes the CATIA rotational animation lesson.